Welcome to GTA Gamer. Today, we are going to learn the process of how to install OpenIV. This is one of the most popular software used to mod Grand Theft Auto 5. Before we start, all the links used in this video are in the description below. Let's begin. First, open your browser and go to OpenIV.com. Click on the Download Now link. After the download completes, click on the OVI setup.exe. Select your language. Accept the terms of the agreement. If you want to install the software to a different location, you can change it here. Click on continue and the setup will download some data required. Click yes. When the installation completes, you can launch the software using the desktop shortcut, or you can go to the search menu and type open IV, launch the software and choose Grand Theft Auto 5 for Windows. You need to locate the game folder. These are the locations for both Steam and non-Steam users. I have my game installed to eDrive. If you do this step right, you will get a response that the installation was successful. Continue the installation. It is always recommended to back up your original game files before the installation of any mods. Click on continue. It takes a couple of seconds to process the game files and show you the tutorial screen. You can watch it or click no thanks. Open ASI Manager by clicking this icon right here or you can go to Tools and select ASI Manager. Install the three plugins. The ASI loader is used to load .asi extension mods. Open IV.asi loads the modified game files. The open camera helps you move the camera a lot farther from the character in Rockstar Editor while making cinematics. After installing all the three plugins, you can close the ASI Manager. The installation of OpenIV is now complete. It's time to install mods for the game. Let us install two simple mods here. The first mod is no GTA 5 launcher. This mod basically launches the game directly without loading the GTA 5 launcher and save you some CPU usage. The second mod is a modified Lamborghini car. By the end of this video, you are going to get a basic knowledge of different types of mods for GTA and the process of installing them. Now download the mods and extract them. First, open the Node GTA 5 Launcher folder. You can see here that the mod is a .asi extension. So you can simply drag and drop them in the main GTA folder. If you are unsure of how to install the mod, you can always check the download page for the instructions. Now, go to the other folder which has the files for a new Lamborghini car. You can see that the mod is a .oiv package. OIV files are nothing but an OpenIV package, you can install them using the package installer in the OpenIV software. For confirmation, let's check the readme file once. You can see here that the installation is the same as we discussed in the previous step. Now go to, OpenIV and launch the package installer using this icon right here, or you can go to Tools, and select Package Installer. Now locate this OIV file and click Open. Click on Install. Always select, Install to the Mods folder, or the files mix up with original game files and become a mess. Confirm the installation and click on Close. Both of our mods are now installed. Let's launch the game using our mods. Go to the GTA 5 folder. Launch the game using GTA 5 launcherexe if you encounter any issue while loading the game, you can always right-click on the icon and select, Run as Administrator to make sure that the game works fine. Now, let the game open. I'm going to quickly spawn the new Lamborghini using the add-on vehicle spawner. The process of installing this vehicle spawner is in the description below. That's it. We now have Michael DeSanta in his new Lamborghini car in the Rockford Hills.
In the next video, we are going to add cars to the game manually, by editing the game files using OpenIV. Subscribe to GTA Gamer to don't miss out on upcoming videos.